Hey guys, James coming from Carts and Farts. So, just picked up this job to do a uh, 105 51 volt eco battery. And on my previous videos, I did not show how to remove the charging port and the harness from the OBC. So, I'm going to show you how to do all that during this video. Uh, this one right here is a 2009. Okay, I got the batteries out, and uh, yes, I will clean this out before I put the eco battery in there. So the next step is to take this little trim loose. So what I, my tool of choice is just a straight pick, and once you stick it in there, if you'll pull it towards the inside, gets that side out, and stick it in that hole, pull it towards the inside, it comes right off without damaging either of those clips. So. That's the next step. And then I've taken these two screws out on each side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my next tool of choice, which is a little door panel spreader. And I'm gonna reach underneath here and just gently pull loose. There it goes, it pops loose. The older carts tend to be a little more diff uh, delicate. And I just realized something, they've got, uh, I guess these are wheel flares on here, so that's gonna keep that in there. But I should have enough room now to pull that loose and slide the floor mat out. And once I slide the floor mat out, I'll show you the next. So I've got the floor mat out, so I need to pull these three Torx out. And a Torx 30 works well. Battery's a little low. All right, got a new battery. Much better. And then what I usually do is there's going to be two screws. And these you generally don't have to pull all the way out, but it's not a big deal to get back in. I'm going to pull them all the way out. And what you can do is you can lift this body up just enough to where you can slide this little kick panel out the way. I'm gonna lay this down. It's gonna be impossible for me to do it with one hand, but I'm gonna shift the body up a little bit and slide that. Panel. Some things are better with two hands. Get this out of the way. And now we're gonna have three Phillips head screws. You can see one there, one there, and one on the other side. So let me take those out. Okay, I was able to get those three screws out and see it's loose. So I've seen other videos where you can actually take these screws out and take the cables loose but if you wiggle work with it a little bit it will come out because you're going to end up throwing it away anyway so now what we've got to do is find out this was the wire that went to your positive battery pack so that's part of it and the rest goes underneath this cover to the obc so let's take that panel off. all right so i took the t40 screw right off the top of there got it out the way Loosen this cover. Oh wow, this thing is dirty behind here. We'll clean it off with a paintbrush or something. Little dirt daubers right there, but we'll get all that clean. And as I'm looking at this, it looks like that is the hole where your negative cable comes through for your OBC. Well, we're gonna end up bypassing the OBC on this install, but uh, one way or the other, let's trace those wires. So. We can get that over here off to the side. Remember, it's the small harness right here that goes to your charging receptacle. So I'm gonna take it over here. Our eco battery kit will come with a new style receptacle. So as I trace that harness, here it is right here. So I'm gonna have to unplug this white connector and this other black wire, let's find out where it goes. It plugs into the back of the OBC. So if I give it a little pull, that's what it looks like. So that's gonna come off with the harness. And that black wire right there goes into the back of the OBC. All right, it took two hands to hold that and to unplug it. So we get all that out the way. Just 
kind of getting snagged here with one hand. So there we go. So that is one less charging port, one less group of wires. Uh, you might may could snip it, but uh, it's a whole lot neater when you get that out the way. That'd be one less harness, that's your bucket harness. There's your main wiring harness. So now let's uh, get to work on bypassing this OBC. All right, so to bypass the OBC, what I did was I unplugged this harness, this connector from the OBC to the uh, main harness, and I cut it back a little bit. Uh, we're going to connect the blue and white wire together, and then we'll just insulate these other wires, and then I'll plug it back in and then I'll continue to get rid of this OBC. And this model, what I'm gonna choose to do is I'm gonna cut the negative wire, I'm gonna replace it, and I'm gonna have the negative cable going underneath here in the same place that the positive cable comes out of. But I'm gonna totally disconnect any of these negative wires, which goes in this last terminal right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug this connector where I can reach that with my 13 millimeter socket. And as you can see, I've actually already unplugged that. I should have done that on camera, but here it is right here. So this little black wire goes through the harness and that's the black wire that a lot of guys use to hook up to their uh, light system. That goes to your main negative. So I might actually remove it from this harness too, trying to make as clean install as possible. But as I pulled this, I could see it coming loose from the other side. So I know I got the right wire. And so that's one wire that goes from there. If you look, there's like a group of three. This other wire goes to the OBC. I'm gonna get it out the way. And then the last wire is the thick wire. It goes through the OBC to the front of it. But I don't think this one's gonna be long enough to reach my negative on my uh, eco battery that I'm gonna put in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clip it off. I'm not gonna remove this from this cover because on this uh, six battery setup, there'd be a big hole there and that wouldn't look nice. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, clip it, pull it through. And underneath here where my positive cable comes through, which is right there, I'm gonna run me an additional negative cable. All right, got a few other things done. so. I did take that uh, plug off, connected the white and the blue wire together, just covered up the other wires with some heat shrinking tubing, and uh, uh, I'll give a little shout out, shout out to Corey over at Palmetto Battery Pros. He's got an awesome video, um, so he probably knows more about bypassing the OBC than I do, but uh, anyway, refer to that. Made a lot of sense. Now we're gonna plug it back into the harness. Again, trying to do all this with one hand. And in between shots, guys, I am making sure the connections are tight. Uh, I went ahead and loosened up this negative cable. Now I'm about to make a couple little changes. So like I said, one of these, and I'm not gonna reuse this, this OBC. One of these negative wires that goes to the OB, I mean the uh, negative terminal of the uh, controller here, goes up here, so I'm going to snip it off. And the other wire, might as well snip it off too. It's gonna come out. The other cable here, if you don't have a set of these, man, these things are the bomb. Let's cut it loose. Pull it through. So when I get finished, I'm gonna replace this cable here. I'll tell you what, while I'm on camera, I can go ahead and take that loose. Grab my little 13 here. And there's your old wire. So we'll discard of that. And once I put a new negative cable, that's what it's going to look like from the front side. So it won't be used, but these two screws here, which are there, if I take them off, 
guess what? It's gonna be a big hole. We don't wanna see that. So let me replace my negative cable. I've actually got a pre-owned cable that I did an Avitas kit on, and this will be long enough. And as you can see, it does have that little extra negative lead on there, um, but we will not be using that because I'm going to wire up the uh, voltage reducer that uh, Eco Battery produces, uh, provides. But uh, let me get that on there and show you what it looks like back together before I forget. So this was that additional, that third negative cable, which goes inside of this harness and comes out there. I'm going to clip that in and I'm just going to pull it through. All right, guys, we uh, got it back together. Um, this is that black wire, that third negative wire that was to the uh, controller. So I snipped one of the ends off and just pulled it out of the harness. So more recyclable metal there. And once I got the plate in place, so the next step would be to take your T40. And this just threads into plastic, so it sh shouldn't have any corrosion problem. I like to use a little T-handle, but you can use whatever, whatever it works to get in there. This will hold this secure. Get it tight. So I've got my negative cable and we won't be using it, but it'll be set up just like a later model. So it'll have a connection to the main negative. Uh, I've got my negative cable and instead of it going over here to one of those six batteries, it's gonna come over to this side for the eco battery. I've got my positive cable here. That will stretch with no problem at all. That's my bucket harness. There's no harness for your charging port. And once we get the eco charging port in there, I'll show you a video of that um, and clean all this stuff up. We'll get it done. So it is dark outside where I'm at. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to hose all this out, get it dried out very well, and then proceed on with the uh, uh, 51 volt 105 eco battery. Okay guys, got the battery tray uh, rinsed out and scrubbed out, a little bit of mud. So um, now it's clean. We're getting ready to go forward with the install. Okay, got everything wrapped up. I've got the eco battery installed. Uh, I decided to put my voltage re reducer right over there. Uh, this customer wanted to have a fuse block installed for future 12 volt accessories. Turned out really nice. I've got my smart battery charger mounted solidly to the floor pan and did a little bit of wire management. So look how much extra room is left. So got my gauge mounted, it's at 40%. Obviously we're gonna do a full charge on this and I'm gonna put the floor mat and everything back together, but really turned out nice. So uh, I've already tested the cart does go forward. If you look at the OBC, I just cut the wires. Uh, it's useless other than just covering up that block. So we'll do a, a road test here. I'm gonna let it charge up a little bit and uh, then we're gonna see what kind of performance we're getting out of it. This particular one, we're gonna also upgrade with a, a plum quick motor. So uh, stay tuned. All right, we got her all buttoned out, getting ready to go for our first test drive. So uh, right now it's fresh out of the box, only 40 volts, but uh, I mean 40%, excuse me, but it's still showing 52.5 volts. So we're getting ready to take, take that out. Um, this customer's cart we did a while back here at Carts and Farts, so uh, nice mods, custom upholstery. Uh, he had the body color painted himself, mods, wheels, turned out real nice. Lift up the rear seat, I mean the front seat, and you see how much extra room he's got in there. Really turned out nice. So the way these voltage reducers work, once you cut the key on, it energizes it. He's got a Bluetooth radio and it'll cut on here in a second. Really nice, just like an automobile, so. Let's go take a test drive. All right, guys, we're all done. So 2009 club car precedent. We did the lithium battery upgrade. We also did the plum quick bandit motor. And my end results are 29 to 30 miles an hour on flat ground. So climbing a hill is 23, 24 miles an hour. Um, and I did all this at about 40% charge. Uh, I charged it a little bit, uh, had to run an errand. I'm up to about 52%. It needs to get 100% charge, but it really, really turned out nice.
So if you guys are in need of a eco battery, I'm the eco battery dealer right here in Lexington, South Carolina. Uh, I can ship anywhere. Um, one thing that I'm trying to do to put me, uh, uh, separate me from some of my competition is, you know, we're all selling a great product, but uh, you can reach me by phone, by FaceTime. Uh, my cell phone number, I'm gonna put it out there publicly, is 803-530-5813. Be more than glad to take a call. Um, you can email me. I'll put all that in the comments there. You can see my website for carts that I have for sale. But uh, like here's a cart here. My customer had it and we did a, a makeover. Uh, he did the body. I did the wheels, the lift kit, and the lithium battery. So anyway, uh, appreciate you uh, looking at the video. Hopefully it, it helped you out. And if there's something you see that I did wrong, I got thick skin. Um, I know I did a lot of that with one hand, so it was kind of a little bit jerky, but uh, hopefully it's enough to, uh, to help you out where you can do this install yourself. So thanks again, and uh, follow me for more videos.